I know that I should have told you the truth about little Ethan being your son sooner. I just, Ethan, you know, I, I found out when I was in Rome and, um, let's see, I, I wanted to tell you the truth then. It's just, I was afraid, you know, I was afraid that, uh, Gwen would convince you to take little Ethan away from me the same way that um, she convinced you to take Jane from me. And then uh, when I got up the courage to tell you again, I was blackmailed. Vincent, he told me to keep quiet or Miguel would spend the rest of his life in prison and, and Luis would be executed. Okay, now you know, okay? And uh, the main thing is, um, I really need you to help me protect little Ethan from Alistair because Ethan, he, he's, he's already making threats. He threatened Gwen, he threatened my mother to keep quiet. I mean, he, he took little Ethan from the hospital playroom to send me a message that he's an easy target if we don't cooperate. Ethan, I know you, you can help me protect little Ethan and, and I will divorce Alistair and then, and then we can get married for real this time. Ethan, you're gonna help me, right? Oh my God, you're asleep. Haven't you been asleep this whole time? No, my dear. I'm wide awake. Alistair. <laughs> Where's Ethan? What have you done with Ethan? Go ahead, throw it. Damn you. <laughs> you killed Chad. You tried to kill me when you poisoned those strawberries, only Ethan ate them and almost died. Where is he, Alistair? I sent him away for some tests. You think I killed him? Well, I wouldn't put anything past you. You'd be very wise to remember that. Because if you don't do exactly what I say, you're gonna wish you were never born. Don't threaten me, old man. Or my son, or Ethan. Why don't you go back to being dead, but for real this time? <laughs> you know, I certainly don't appreciate that uh, tone from my wife. I'm not gonna be your wife much longer. I'm giving you a divorce. No, you're not. You will never cause me another moment's pain ever again. You have no idea the amount of pain I can cause you, Teresa. I mean, our lovemaking was a cakewalk compared to what I'm capable of. Love making, Alistair? You raped me. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that phrase so often over the years from Rachel, Catherine, Liz, so many uh, different secretaries I can't even count. But you don't get it, do you? The point is, I don't give a damn. I always get what I want, Teresa, always. And if you tell Ethan that little Ethan is his son, I will torture you and your loved ones so many ways you can't even imagine. You know what, Alistair? I don't really care what you say because I'm gonna tell Ethan the truth that little Ethan is his son and you can't stop me. Now that's a little Teresa I miss. My wife, red-blooded, spitfire. Don't call me your wife. But you are my wife, not Ethan's wife. Nor will you ever be. I've studied you for years, Teresa. I think I know more about you than you know about yourself. You're clever, shrewd. Now, I always prided myself in thinking that I was always a step ahead of you. That was until I found out that little Ethan wasn't a crane. And how you kept that information from me <laughs> for so many years, I have no idea how. I only found out a year ago. How many people have you told? A few. That's a few too many because of little Ethan's paternity gets out. I could look like a fool. Alistair, you already are a fool if you think this kind of news can stay a secret. It has to. Well, it won't. I'll make sure it does. If you say anything to Ethan or anyone else about little Ethan, I will kidnap that boy and you will never see your son again. Whoa, 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 that's my son, too. I adopted him with your blessing. My son, my wife, I own you both. 
Haven't you learned that nobody ever leaves me? Don't you remember what I did to Rachel and Catherine? You are a hateful monster. That is true. But if you don't tell anyone about little Ethan's paternity, you, your son, and Jane could have a full, carefree life. It's not like Sheridan and Marty, because she defied me by hooking up with a man I didn't approve of. That man is my brother, Luis. Yeah, but what happened after Sheridan defied me? You had Beth kidnapped. Exactly. And then when Luis found his son, then what happened? Marty died. That's right. Your nephew died a horrible death. Would you like something like that for little Ethan? You know I wouldn't, Alistair. Accept my offer or your son will suffer a similar fate. I may be able to win Ethan back after all. Well, if you hadn't divorced him in the first place. Shh. I'm not going to let you uh, make a fool of me by telling Ethan that he is little Ethan's father. But of course, that's your choice. I'll tell you something. If you do happen to tell your magnificent obsession that he is the father of your son and your daughter, you could cost him his life. Don't let me influence you, of course. But just remember, I will stop at nothing to have my way always. And I mean always. Oh, Alistair doesn't pull any punches, does he? He's so cold. I mean, he makes a certain vice president seem all warm and fuzzy. So, wifey, what's it going to be? Do you, uh keep little Ethan's secret? Or do I get deadly? You win. I won't tell Ethan the truth about his song. Good. Thank you. <sighs> you seem to have painted yourself into a corner. God, I hate you. Mm. It's your choice, Teresa. As it is not to risk Ethan's life by telling him about little Ethan. <laughs>